السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام His name was Michael. His age was 25 years old. What about his age? 25 years old. Is his age 23 years old? Is his age 21 years old? 16 years old? 25 years old? Very good. 25 years old. His favorite color is brown. What about his favorite color? Brown. His favorite color is brown. Is his favorite color yellow? Is his favorite color red? No. No, of course. It's inevitable his favorite color is brown. And he was afraid of English and his teacher said for him, you've got to train yourself a lot at your home to do something amazing for yourself to strengthen your skills in English. This is short story. You can't see this. Just I want to appear for you how we get the direct answers from the students. As you know very well, when I read the story uh, for something related to the traditional, of course, they don't focus on my speech. Because as you know very well, a lot of the students, they have something related to their games, or something related to their houses, or their families, or their fathers, you can see this phrase. So when I use, direct answer and a question. I will engage them. Engage them, I mean, I should not talk to them. I mean, I'm sure, for example, I'm saying, for example, Khalid, for example, Umar Khalid, 25 years old, Umar 25. I just go and ask him. I'm saying, is good Umar? So he go and ask him. So I'll give you the answer, and I'll give you the answer, and it's a story, and it's a connection. مثل ما تقول قوي لان ده استخدم الترادشنال واي الطريقه التقليديه اغلب الطلاب راح يحصل عنده شروط ذهني او ربما ملل. الطريقه الثانيه طبعا استخدموها هنا هواي اساتذه 
اللي هي قلنا الطريقه العمليه ربما شفنا استاذ زيد استاذ آه نور الدين استخدموا طريقه عمليه انه ورقه وفتحها وكذا كل احنا انتبهنا وعرفنا المغزى او الهدف مال القصه فطريقتين لايصال القصه وتعليم الطالب الطريقه العمليه وطريقه السؤال والجواب بطريقه مباشره وشكرا جزيلا وافلح صلى على محمد وال محمد اللهم صل على محمد وال محمد عشت ايدك